afternoon, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all staying at the Lord and you're staying safe and staying well with yourselves and your families. Anyways, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As usual, my name is Olua Kemio Sege and I am excited to be back here to record another video today for your viewing and learning pleasure. Um, today, I am not going to be making cakes, neither would I be cooking, but I'll be making a very popular feeling for cakes. Anyway, before I get started into it, I just want to say thank you to you all. Thank you for your subscription, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching my videos and please do share them. Thank you so much. If you like my video, any one of them, please drop me a comment. Drop me your thoughts. Drop me whatever it is you think. And so long as it is constructive criticism, what it no condescending comment, please. So long as it is constructive, I will really appreciate them and I'll be looking forward to read your comments. Just want to say thank you and God bless you all for subscribing and liking and watching my videos. Now, back to the order of the day. Today is the 11th of uh, November 2020. That is Wednesday, the 11th of November 2020. And I want to show you how I make my own buttercream. As you all know, buttercream is popular. There's a lot of recipes that it's just butter and ice and sugar, mostly. It is sold in the shops. But I make my own buttercream from the scratch. You'll probably be surprised as to what the ingredients I'm going to be using in my buttercream, but that is what makes mine unique. That is why I love my buttercream and that is how uh, my clients love them. So I'll continue to do it until I find something better. My buttercream is made up of five ingredients plus one secret one. Would you like to guess what that secret one is? Please do guess in the comment section. Anyways, back to my buttercream. I've got my ingredients laid out and I'm going to show you them in a bit. And this is my ingredients laid out for my buttercream today. I'm making a very large quantity because I've got a cake. I've got cakes I've got to fill and um, cover in buttercream this week. I usually make large quantities. I never make small quantities of buttercream. I usually make large quantities because I have cakes that I have to use them for. Anyways, back to my recipe. For this buttercream, I am using 2 kg. That is 2,000 grams of icing sugar. I usually use Tetlao because it's not too light as opposed to using um silver spoon silver spoon is very powdery very light it's good you don't have to do anything about it you just pour it but it makes a lot of mess and it just goes everywhere but with tent light it's a bit dense so uh you the, the extra effort you have to do to it is to sieve it so i sieve my um icy sugar before i use them so this is already sieved um icing sugar it is 2 kg that is 2000 grams of icing sugar and i've got um, uh, 500 grams of vegetable shortening in here in London the popular one is um, Trex however and the, in America I think it's called Crisco but here in London we the popular one is um, Trex however during the pandemic during the when um, uh, COVID-19 started Trex became scarce so you couldn't find Trex anywhere. I'm not sure whether it was due to COVID-19 or they stopped selling. I haven't gone back to check because uh, the last time I bought the replacement I still have some in stock because I bought in bulk. Now this one is co called Cooking which I got from Sainsbury's. It's, it does the same job but it's not as soft as Trex. I still prefer Trex. And here, here again is um, 500 grams of butter. I didn't put that in a bowl because it's exactly 500 grams, which I'm going to use. 500 grams of butter oil at room temperature. And I've got in here one tablespoonful of salt. Yes, I use salt for my buttercream. One tablespoonful, that's because of the large quantity of ice and sugar. And also I have got um, vanilla extract, clear vanilla extract, because I don't want my buttercream to be 
brownish in color if i use the usual color but vanilla so i usually get the clear vanilla extract yeah i used to use the um wiltings but again due to covid19 wilting products in london are really scarce so this is one available that i'm using now it does the job but i prefer the wiltings anyway now let's start mixing i'm going to be creaming my vegetable shortening I'm going to cream it until it is soft and white. It's a kind of an oily creamy now. When it fits properly, it will be white. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be creaming it to until it is soft and white. It is important that at intervals you scrape down your bowl to ensure that all aspects of the mixture is captured because uh, depending on the quantity of items you have in your mixer uh, sometimes the uh, paddle attachment just pushes all of them to the size of the bowl so you need, you need to keep an eye on it so that your rather than your paddle just rolling about and working hard it is actually risking the item you wanted to risk. My vegetable shortening is now white and soft. As you can see, it's very soft and white. It's ready to be met now with butter. So I'm now going to add my butter and whisk medium to high speed for at least seven minutes. Ensuring that you scrape down your bowl at intervals. It's been beating for about um, three minutes now. I'm now going to add my one tablespoonful of salt and then continue with the mixing. See my mixture, my butter. And my vegetable shortening and salt, we mixed in now, going up for 10 minutes together. And you can see it's very soft and fluffy. And it's not dropping, but it's very fluffy. That's the texture I'm looking for, and it's white now. So I'm going to mix it again for a further two minutes before I begin to add my eyes in sugar. Yes! My butter and vegetable chutney mixture is ready. Beautiful, isn't it? Now it's now time for me to now start adding my icing sugar in batches. I'll be adding my icing sugar in batches you can see this particular icing sugar is heavier than um silver spoon silver spoon is very very light silver spoon when you just put like this it all it just immediately powders everywhere that's why i don't like it it's very lightweight it is great but, and you don't have to sieve it but i don't like the fact that it makes a whole lot of mess but with this one the only upside is that it's heavier the only upside is that i have to see it first be able to use it effectively and then mix once that is properly incorporated add another batch until all your butter uh, eyes and sugar is exhausted and i am whisking or beating my um, my speed at a very low speed because i don't want to start doing another job by cleaning tonight uh, at least if i'm going to clean it to be very very minimal and then another batch 
goes in until it is all exhausted. And then you do small, small whiz of the whisking until it is done. All my eyes and sugar are all in at this stage. The, my eyes and sugar is all in at this stage. So it's very, very thick at the moment. Uh, I can't return it. But so I'm now going to add my vanilla extract. Cream. I'm now going to add my vanilla extract. Three tablespoonful to start with. And the buttercream tastes amazing, by the way. I'm going to add one more tablespoonful of vanilla extract or clear, my clear vanilla flavor. Just to lose it, loosen it more a bit, but it tastes really amazing. At this point, you don't need to beat for too long. Just beat everything is properly incorporated because we've done the most mixing whilst we are mixing the butter and the vegetable shortening so we're almost done I just need to scrape down my bowl with my spatula and then do a final whisk and that's it you can see my buttercream now it's now loosened it's no longer thick. That's my buttercream, which I'm going to be using for my buttercream cake this week. I'm filling my cakes with. So this is a large quantity of um, buttercream I'm making, which which, which explains the reason why the measurement of the ingredients are high. So if you like to make a smaller version or smaller portion, you can divide your recipe, for instance, uh, by two, by three, for instance, um, instead of using 500 grams of um, butter, you use um, 250 grams of butter. Instead of using 500 grams of um, vegetable shortening, you use 250 grams of vegetable shortening. In that regards, um, in that respect, then you will need to use 1000 grams worth of um, icing sugar. And of course, um, Two tablespoonful of um, vanilla extract and one teaspoonful of salt. That's half of this uh, um, quantity uh, measurement I have done. That's my buttercream. It's done now. You can see the way I'm carrying it. It's not heavy. So, but um, just to show you the inside, how fluffy and the texture, how white it is. You know, it's just gonna slide in your cake and slide on your cake. That's how I make my buttercream. And that's my buttercream done. Thank you for watching. I'd love to read your thoughts. Please drop your drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you think uh if you wanna try it, please do try it and drop your feedback in the comment section as well. That's the way I make my buttercream. I do not use just butter and icing sugar and milk. No, that's not how I make my... That's how I used to make it when I first started baking. But then I begin to pick, you know, when you get into some craft, you begin to keep um, pick up things, different things. That's how I've been doing throughout my baking, my three years of caking. I've been picking things that I find works for me. The same thing applies to this um, buttercream, which I've now created to make it my to create it into my own style that I like and that my clients love as well. So instead of just using butter, I use butter and vegetable shortening. I don't just use one or the other. I use both. And vegetable shortening with icing sugar, clear vanilla extract and um, salt. Five ingredients all together. That's butter, vegetable shortening, Ice and sugar, 
salt and clear vanilla extract and the secret ingredient the secret secret ingredient is love that's what makes my buttercream special so if you love my video please do like comment share and subscribe and please do not forget to hit that notification button so that whenever i upload another video you will be one of the first to be notified of it thank you for watching thank you for your time on my channel and i hope and look forward to seeing you again please continue to stay safe continue to comply with the uh, safety measures all over the wherever you go and keep yourselves and your family safe thank you once again Bye and take care. God bless you. Bye.